We're going to take a quick break and be back. Um, oh, actually, we finally good. We have Peyton live. Peyton was traveling to Bamberg to look at some of that damage. It looks absolutely incredible from what we can see. Uh, Peyton, tell us what you see there now that you're finally right in front of that building. Andrea here in Bamberg. We're looking at extensive damage to the old city hall building. You see bricks everywhere strewn across the street in the main strip here. The building next door, the collectibles furniture antique store also sustained some damage. The police are out here. They asked us to move back to make sure we're at least 150 feet back in case the building next door to the old city hall falls over as well. We've also been seeing several representatives out here from SCDOT. Representative Justin Bamberg is out here as well, checking in on people. He says that several homes have sustained damage and we've, there's even pieces of the roof from some of these buildings, debris everywhere out here. Um, it's, it's a rough situation out here in Bamberg right now, but they're banding together and hoping to make repairs and just dredge through the rest of the storm as best they can. Hey, Halea, um, from um, what we can see there, I know you said that there was an antique store and then, of course, the old city hall, which sat vacant. What other businesses are up and down uh, the street there and how many of those sustained damage as well? So there's a radio station right here where we're standing. There's also a store called Primo Gear Photography right next door that doesn't seem to have sustained any damage. There's some towards uh, next door on the other side of the old city hall that also look to be a little bit damaged, but not too badly. There's you know, driving in here, we also saw some trees that were causing debris, trees down as well. There have been other homes that we've seen that have had damage from tree limbs that we've noticed as well. But outside of that, along this stretch, we haven't been able to look at many of these businesses. The police have been very clear that they don't want anyone getting hurt. This entire strip on this road is blocked right now. So we're just trying to obey their orders. We don't want to be among the people that might get hurt. Peyton, let me ask you something because we can hear a lot of conversation. Yeah, this is what we are seeing so far. Right. Let, let's go back out to that live picture. Let's just stay with the picture, guys. Um, we hear a lot of conversation going on around you. Is law enforcement there or is that other people from the media who we're hearing talking? What What is the scene right now? Because I don't even see anything taped off at, at, well, there we go. That's what I was looking for, the barricades. And and, and again, there's uh, Representative Justin Bamberg, Justin Bamberg mm -hmm. right there, Peyton. So you may be able to pull him over right now, let him know you're on live TV, and we'd like to talk to him real quick. Yes. Just call him on I over. I had he's, asked him he, he's before good. we went yep. on just to speak and say a few words. You mentioned that you were in a committee meeting when you got the call for this today, correct? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I was at the state house and phone just started going off. Hey, you know, a tornado hit downtown and um, so far uh, no reported injuries or deaths, which is a great thing. Um, we do have um, a significant number of people with power outages, uh, well over 500 folks without power. Um, we have some folks, unfortunately, whose homes have been destroyed and they've got tree damage to their roofs, so we're trying to find uh, housing for folks. But uh, one of the beauties of living in small towns is um, when things like this happen, you're going to see folks with their trucks and gloves and uh, chainsaws, and uh, we're going to get we're going to get through it. We're just glad that uh, as of right now, no confirmed injuries, uh, which is a, a blessing. Yes, sir. Some folks that I had spoken to earlier today also mentioned that this building was already kind of structurally unsound. Um, were you guys expecting it to be a potential target for this storm today? No. So I mean. I, our downtown is a classic South Carolina downtown, very uh, uh, remembrance of the, the old days of South Carolina, and it's got this charm to it. Um, obviously, some of the buildings uh, were not in the best condition, uh, but I mean, we've had hurricanes and other storms and buildings have not come down. Um, this was a complete shock to me. I mean, this is a very big uh, geographical county in terms of uh, nature. And for a tornado to hit smack dab in the middle of downtown at the busiest intersection in the whole county, um, I mean, when it's time for it to happen, I guess it's just going to happen. And uh, fortunately, no one was in these buildings. Um, you know, one of them was being renovated. 
uh, right what one two three buildings down is a boxing gym that where people actively train every day um, Sammy Millhouse's spot and unfortunately no one was in there so um, despite the the sadness of seeing our downtown like this we do have the positive aspect of uh, none of our citizens were in the building so that's wonderful to hear it is how long do you think it will take for your community to recover from this um Recovery is always quite a challenge. Um, we don't have the most money here. Um, you know, I always say we're, we're rich in love for each other and not rich in the bank. Um, but we're going to be assessing everything. Uh, DOT uh, is out here. They're uh, bringing in folks from Orangeburg and Columbia. Um, we're going to assess the damage. We're going to see if we maybe qualify for FEMA funding to assist us with some of the, the needs. We have a lot of power uh, lines and power poles down. Um, so one way or the other, we're going to make it. Um, I do serve in the General Assembly, and of course, if my people need it, I'm going to go up to Columbia and advocate for funding. Um, and despite the political times in Columbia, uh, one thing that has been relatively consistent over time is that when communities are struck by tragedies, I think uh, last year uh, was the tornado in Hampton, um, and the state will come through for even our small communities. So I'm hopeful in the moment. It, it may not look like there's much hope uh, when you look at the buildings, but um, I think we're going to be all right and we're, and we're going to make it through this. Yes, sir. So I'm sure you were standing out here before and I'll have to tweet this image. There was a rainbow that came over yeah. Bamberg not too long ago. How did yeah. that make you feel to see that after all of this? It was very ironic to say the least. Um, and it's always weird when tornadoes hit, you know, it's a horrible and then usually right after the skies look pretty beautiful. But to, to look back here and see this big, pretty, massive rainbow over our little town uh, and then turn the other way and see this is kind of, uh, you know, maybe God's way of making us feel better about uh, what we had to go through. Um, but like I say, there's always a bright side to everything, and uh, that's what I'm trying to lean on. And um, our first responders um, have done a phenomenal job. Um, folks don't really understand when these things happen, uh, they all get to get on social media and text each other and take pictures. And our first responders are always boots on the ground, and they've been out here handling business. And uh, we're very appreciative of all of them. Yes, sir. Thank you so much Thank for meeting you. with us. We Very appreciate much. you for keeping us updated and we'll probably revisit you in a little bit. Yes, ma'am. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. All right. Thank you guys for sticking with us to watch our coverage from Bamberg. Back to you all. Yeah, just in incredible studio. there. Justin Bamberg, of course, our representative from the 90th district, which includes Bamberg and parts of Orangeburg County um, as well. Yeah, we're going to hear from Peyton again right around the 